Bait. You know, it took me almost 32 years to figure this out. Africans in the diaspora, we are doing this wrong. The whole idea of building wealth, we're doing it wrong 100%. So a lot of us actually come here, we go to school, get an education, right? And then we go get a job. We have to work in America. There's no two ways around it. You have to work. But the problem with that is we're going to get a job with kids or people born and raised here who know the system, they know the ins and outs of the system. They know what to watch out for, the blind spots and everything. And we're trying to compete with them for jobs. It just doesn't work. We're never going to outcompete people born and raised here in that arena. What we should be doing actually is just doing business. Honestly, we should just, just forget about the whole going to get a job. Start a business and import some products from back home just import product from where you're from add value to it and voila we need to actually start doing the things that we know we have to stop you know trying to compete with people about things we don't really know and just compete in the arenas that we are skilled in we know how to sell right a lot of the times a lot of the products we have back home are very organic high end if we can just add value to it just importing the raw materials itself is not going to get you a lot of money. But all you need to do is just add a little bit of value to this. And then now we can sell that for a much higher price. We should stop competing with people out here. Because we are doing this 100% wrong. My biggest regret, actually my biggest regret for my business, thinking back, has just been not starting it earlier. I just, I wish I had started this business five years ago. Oh my God, if five years ago I had launched this business, I probably would not be sitting here talking to you right now at work, you know, while working for somebody pretty much. Anyway, yes, that that is my two cents on this issue. I think I've come to the conclusion that Africans in the diaspora, we are doing this 100% wrong. We keep sending money home, and we keep trying to find a job that's gonna pay us well enough. That's never gonna happen, never gonna happen. And actually on the notion of sending money home, you should stop doing that. Let me explain. You really should stop sending money home because you are crippling the people back home. You're not, you're not empowering them in any way. You're not making them independent in any way. You're making them dependent on you with the money you are sending to them. What you actually need to do is save that money park it yeah just you don't you don't need to do anything with it just park it wait a year or two until it's big enough take that money and launch a business with it incorporate them into the business import something from back home let them do the sourcing of it right you purchase it they bring it here you add value to it and then you sell it fam this is the game we should be playing we've been playing the game wrong the whole time but now I'm starting to catch up and it's an exciting feeling just knowing what I can do you know business is not going too bad actually um, right now my problem is the fact that I am completely out of stock in one product and I have to replenish the stock that's not a bad problem to have it's not a bad problem at all being out of stock business is not going too bad and I only wish I had started this earlier because my life would be so much simpler but anyway Kwame out.